You know, when I started geopolitics, some ignorant people on this continent kept accusing me that I'm blaming everything on America. Look, I'm not blaming everything on America. I'm only telling you the facts. I'm only telling you what America do around the world. So the long-awaited anti-LGBTQ bill was passed in Ghana Parliament this week, and America is threatening Ghana. Uh, could I take you to Africa for a few? Yeah. Uh, Ghana, I know there was a statement that you issued last night on the anti-LGBTQ bill. Um, just to follow up on that, if my understanding is that the president, uh, Akufu Addo, hasn't signed it yet, are there talks with Ghana trying to, uh, try to stop this from coming law? And if it, if it comes to fruition, is there a sense of, um, of what, what the repercussions, if any, could be from the US? So we have made very clear what our opinion is on, uh, on that law. You can look at my statement yesterday, and we have made that clear uh, in private conversations uh, with the government of Ghana as well. I don't think I should get uh, any more specific than that. But if this bill becomes law, it would certainly have a chilling effect on foreign investment and tourism in Ghana. You've seen that, uh, you've seen that same chilling effect bear fruit in Uganda, which passed a, a very similar law in the past. Uh, and I can say that... Um, you know, should the bill pass, it would um, potentially have ramifications on uh, U.S. assistance in, in the country. Sure. Um, just a couple more in Africa. Yeah. Who the hell does America think they are? They think Ghana is a satellite country of America or what? No, this exposes the so-called democracy that America and the West is pushing around the world. We said we don't want your so-called LGBTQ. What is your fucking problem with us? Leave us alone. America is a collapsing empire and they are trying to bring everybody down with them. The future of Africa is bright. They are doing everything possible to reduce the black race on earth. They started with HIV, it didn't work. They used Ebola, it didn't work. They tried the COVID-19 vaccines, it didn't work. And now they are pushing this LG whatever on this continent and we must be very careful. I dare the Western America to sanction the whole of Africa Without us, you guys will not survive. America is not giving Ghana aid. Neither is America giving any country on this continent aid. They are only giving us a small fraction of what they steal from us. And it is time for we Africans to know our true value. Yes, everybody can cross-check. America makes over 100 million. If they don't want to work with us, let them pack their bags and leave. Other people will come. America is benefiting from us. America built their economy. At the expense of the suffering of we Africans. Can you believe America and the British make over 70% of Ghana total oil? Who is helping who? We give them everything. And today they are here threatening us. If they don't want to work with us, let them leave. Different companies will definitely come. And this is the main reason why I would choose Russia and China over America any day, any time, anywhere. Because the Chinese and Russians are not threatening us to accept any laws. The Chinese don't give a damn about what you do in your country. They are always in for business. Period. Cuba is one of the most sanctioned countries on earth. Yet Cuba produced some of the best doctors on earth. Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger is sanctioned, yet they are the fastest growing economies. Russia is the most sanctioned country on earth with over 18,000 sanctions, yet they are surviving. In fact, Russia is currently the biggest economy in Europe after over 18,000 sanctions. Clearly, the West is nobody without the rest of the world. Over 4,000 sanctions on Iran, yet Iran is one of the biggest players in the Middle East. If the West and America stop working with Africa, this will be the best thing that ever happened to this continent. They want us to sell our sovereignty because of their companies. What better companies do they even have here? KFC? You want us to sacrifice our sovereignty because of ordinary chicken and yam? Big up to Sam George, bro. You've done well. The last time I met Sam George, I told him, bro, you're my favorite MP in the whole of Africa. We all know what Sam George has done. From day one, this guy stood on his ground. He challenged the West. He challenged America. Big ups to Sam George. This won't be possible without this young man. The last time I met you, I told you you are my favorite MP in Africa. Man, respect to you. 
let's put political party and color aside and let's focus on our national interest dear europeans and americans we are not gays and lesbian and we will never accept this your so-called human right values simple i don't know why this is hard for them to understand qatar and saudi arabia is one of the biggest trading partner of the western america why are they not threatening them according to the bail in ghana when you are caught you know it's between three to five years in jail but in qatar and saudi arabia when you are caught Mm -hmm. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Dear Europeans, please go to Qatar, go to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. go to Yemen, go to Iraq, go to Iran. Tell them to accept this, your so called, uh, you know, whatever. Go and tell them to accept. Why are you always on us? We are not your colonies anymore, we are not your satellite continent. And we will not say yes to everything that you guys want us to do. We are not dumb. This generation of African youth, we are different. Guys, uh, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to hit on the like button. But I want this message to get to them. I want them to hear what we are saying. We want them to know what we think. We are not interested in this so-called LGB, whatever. We, we, we are not interested. How is this hard for you guys to understand us? The more I talk about this thing, the more it provokes me. Guys, let me end the video here. Make sure to hit on the like button and share to family and friends. See you in the next episode. Shalom.